Welcome to Beyond the Stars, your go-to source for all things astronomy and space. Today, we're diving into one of the biggest mysteries of the universe, dark matter. You may have heard of it before, but what exactly is dark matter? Well, it's a mysterious and invisible form of matter that scientists believe makes up approximately 85% of the universe's total mass. It's called dark because it doesn't interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making it invisible to telescopes. Now, I know what you might be thinking, if it's invisible, how do scientists even know it exists? Good question. It's all thanks to its gravitational effects on visible matter. Dark matter is believed to be the glue that holds galaxies together. Without it, these massive structures would fly apart. You see, scientists have observed that the outer stars in a galaxy rotate at the same speed as the inner stars. This is unexpected, as the outer stars should rotate slower than the inner stars according to the laws of physics. And it's not just galaxies, galaxy clusters made up of multiple galaxies also provide evidence for dark matter's existence. The distribution of matter in these clusters is not what scientists would expect based on the visible matter alone. But, if there is a large amount of dark matter present, it would provide enough gravitational pull to keep these clusters of galaxies together, like a cosmic velcro. Without dark matter, the galaxies and galaxy clusters would not have enough gravitational pull to keep them together and they would fly apart, like a balloon with a slow leak. This is because the visible matter alone is not enough to provide the necessary gravitational pull to hold these structures together. It's like trying to build a house with only bubblegum and tape, it's not going to hold. So, what is this dark matter made of? Well, that's the million-dollar question. Scientists have a few theories, but the most interesting one is that it could be made up of primordial black holes. These are black holes that formed in the early universe, right after the Big Bang. They're thought to be incredibly small, with masses similar to that of a mountain. Now, you might be thinking, but wait a second, aren't black holes massive and super dense? How could they make up the majority of the universe's mass? Well, that's the beauty of primordial black holes, they're small and lightweight, making them the perfect candidates for dark matter. Scientists have proposed that if a large number of primordial black holes were formed in the early universe, they could make up the majority of the universe's dark matter. But, like any theory, it's still a work in progress and scientists are actively researching to understand more about it. But it's always exciting to think about the possibility of a universe filled with tiny black holes. So, next time you're looking up at the night sky, remember that what you're seeing is just a tiny fraction of what's actually out there. The majority of the universe is made up of this mysterious, invisible stuff we call dark matter. And who knows, maybe one day we'll finally figure out what it is and unlock even more secrets of the universe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more astronomy and space content. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below. See you next time on Beyond the Stars.